Hello and welcome to Mini Monet. My name is Sarah Scoggin and I'm the early childhood librarian at the Newburgh Free Library, Newburgh, New York. Uh, this Mini Monet program presents three different sensory art activities for ages two to six. Um, and the theme is apples. So the first uh, craft is from a site called Little Bins for Little Hands and it's a uh, apple yarn wrap. So this is an apple with a little bite taken out of it. Um, and you could have the kids color in the stem or the leaves, um, or you could just leave it plain. It's just regular corrugated cardboard and then they wrap the string around. A uh, good fine motor activity. Um, the young ones might need a little bit of help, but pretty young ones can do the wrapping. Um, or if you don't have string or you just want to try a little something different, um, I actually peeled off a layer of cardboard on one side of the leaf here and then it becomes like a rubbing activity because it's a bumpy cardboard in there. Um, or they could color it red beforehand. You can really make it your own. Um, the older they are, the more elaborate you can make it. So this is an apple that I did um, and I actually used um, a few different colors and this is um, embroidery floss and I would just tie on the next color as I ran out of of uh, floss as I was wrapping and I just wrapped it around. Um, you could do as much uh, wrapping as you wanted and I wrapped the leaf. Um, so the older ones can make it their own, use their own choice of colors. So that's apple yarn wrapping. Um, the next one is apple play-doh. So I have a little play-doh apple there and I put a real stem with a leaf um, in it. So you could bring in a few different leaves and stems um, if the little ones are old enough now, not to eat those. Uh, you could just use a little stick um, to make the stems. Um, you could do a little pipe cleaner for a stem um, or anything else. Or you, can, you can just make a Play-Doh stem. You can make a couple different colors of Play-Doh. Um, this is homemade Play-Doh and the recipe for that is at the Imagination Tree. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the description. I'll put a few different uh, versions of the apple dough craft um, in the description. Um, this is a craft that you can really, again, make it your own. You can add different scents to it. You can add cinnamon, different um, things to smell. Um, you can use different things to stamp texture into your apples. Um, and the uh, writer at Imagination Tree talked about putting out an invitation to play. So you could put out three different colors, say uh, yellow, green, and red of the Play-Doh. Um, as an invitation to play. So you put out the materials, the stems, everything, um, and then just kind of say, here, here's something interesting I have for you to play with and see where they go with it. Uh, the toddlers, what they want to do with it, um, instead of necessarily saying you have to make seven apples or, or telling them exactly what you're envisioning. Um, for example, the girl at Imagination Tree who's doing the uh, project, the young one there, she decided to make an apple stand that she was going to sell and she made a sign how much the apples cost. It became a whole um, extended game. But the little ones could just want to play with the apple scented play doh. So that's apples with dough. And the last one for this video is apple prints. So uh, take an apple and cut it in half horizontally so you get the nice little star. Um, and you can either dip it in paint. Um, or you can paint on the apple slice itself with a paintbrush. Um, you might want to have a paper towel underneath because you do have to press the whole apple to make sure you get the whole print um, and try not to get paint inside the little um, star in the middle so you can see it clearly. If it's too um, blobby and you're not getting the star, try just kind of like stamping it on another piece of paper or wiping it off with a Q-tip so you get a nice thin layer of paint um, and then you should get a much nicer star. I decided to do red and green apples. Um, I'll put a few different links again down in the description with different ways to um, hold the apple or do different prints. Um, you could of course just extend this. Um, I have here, I was just playing around with different ideas. Um, I tried making apples just regular crayons. I tried drawing after I had done a print. I tried um, to draw what that looked like with a crayon. So you could have the little ones copy their print onto this. Um, this is a fingerprint apple, so I had them dip, uh, I, I put a finger in paint and made a little apple with fingerprints. Um, you could add stems to the ones that you made. Um, this is chalk on paper, so I made chalk uh, apple. Um, this is a highlighter, I have like a apple highlighter um, or just pencil, so you could try all different media um, and see which one you like the best. You could do textured uh, finger paint with this too. 
So those are the apple crafts for Mini Monet. Um, I hope you enjoy your art.